They call this liquid light, where it looks like the light's flowing, like it's been poured over the sheet metal. I've actually had agency producers call me up and want to know where they can buy the can of liquid light. Swear to God, that is a true story. Because what you do is you light something, white typically, and you reflect it in the object you're trying to photograph. So what we've done here is we have the two flats. The one on the right is going to simulate the sunset side, and the one on the left is going to simulate the eastern sky with the cooler light. So we're going to bring the flat into frame close enough to where it's filling the car, but not so much that it's in front of the camera. I find that directors and agency people, and particularly producers, hate it when you say we're going to fix this in post, because they see that as dollar signs running in a very big meter very fast. So sometimes you can just do a quick cheat. So come on in with that, Mitch, if you would, slowly. Whoop, okay, then uh, back in just a tiny bit. There, whoop, too much, slide it back. A little more, right there, leave it there. All right, so that costs no money. Um, <laughs> You can actually ghost a little bit of white streaks and tips along that horizon line, maybe an area about six inches wide, and at this extreme angle, it looks like it's lit. You know, you've all heard of, you know, the masters painting with light. Well, that's lighting with paint.